now linear operator as we, as we discussed earlier any quantum state is a linear combination of basic states in gilbert space so your capital psi can be expanded in terms of c1 psi1 plus c2 psi2 plus c3 psi3 okay that can be written in terms of summation over i ci with ket ket psi okay and this is the basis psi i psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 are basis this is i equals 1 to n so n dimension okay and ci can be a complex number so it's in gilbert space is it is it okay ci can be a complex number which contains real part and the imaginary part so since it is a complex number n dimension and these basis states live in gilbert space so any quantum state is a linear combination of basis states in gilbert space okay so quantum states lives in vector space is the inner product of course we will have to define the inner product okay so then the vector space is called as a gilbert space over complex number as i said gilbert space is spanned by basis vectors for example spin of question is spanned by two basis states so one is up another one is down so spin one system for example it just take photon so spin one system is spanned by three basis states 1 0 minus 1 so they are all basis vectors now the transformation from one state to another state will be always linear so linear transformation okay suppose a operator operates on psi will give you another wave function so this is called a linear transformation so this is the this is a transformation linear transformation expression for linear transformation operators are always linear mathematical definition for linear operator will be as we discussed earlier operator operates on the combined system is equal to sum of the operators operating on the individual system okay so operator to be linear should satisfy two properties additive and homogeneity if it is linear it has to satisfy two properties one is additive additive means operation of addition so this is operation of addition a operator operates on two wave function will give you individual individual answer okay so this is uh, additive property operation of addition another one, another one is homogeneity operation of scalar multiplication so a operator operates on any scalar with psi will we can replace this one c can be pulled out so you can write exactly like this c a operator operates on a function psi similarly for the addition also so this is for the multiplication similarly for the addition also a plus b acts on psi can be written as a operator operates on psi plus b operator operates on psi so we can say that a and b are linear operators so this is for the multiplication so this is for the addition this is for the multiplication so a b with psi that will give you we can pull a b out b psi will give you psi dash correct b acting on psi will give you psi dash okay so we can write a acting on psi dash okay is it okay so an operator o is a linear operator if any arbitrary vector psi of psi 1 of x and psi 2 of x with the following two conditions so these two conditions are very important one is scalar multiplication and one is vector addition so these two conditions are very important vector addition and scalar multiplication in quantum mechanics observables so in the lab we just take some readings in quantum mechanics these readings are called observables dynamical variables are called observables observables which depend on position and position and momentum all observables these observables are associated with the operators in quantum mechanics all dynamical variables which depend on position and momentum okay they are called observables in the lab we take some readings in quantum mechanics we have some observables see the observables are for example observables can be position momentum angular momentum energy and many others so they are all linear operators okay so observables all observables are associated with the operators okay for any operator we can write the following equation so o operator operates on the wave function psi will give you 
eigen value this is called a value with a function suppose if both the functions are the same we say that this is eigen function if they are not the same then we can say that this is a wave function ordinary wave function so o operator operates on any wave function will give you eigen value with the function with the same wave function here psi is a wave function o is the eigen value this o is the eigen value if the same wave function is obtained wave function is obtained then the wave function is known as that function is known as eigen function if both are the same then we can say that these functions are eigen functions this equation is known as eigen value equation so the mathematical operations such as differentiation integration addition subtraction squaring all are called operations okay they are all operators they are called operation okay in math like mathematics so it is defined as the rule by which a different function is obtained when the operator operates on any given function for example c operator operates on this function will give you different different function it can be same or it can be different for example you just take the same thing c operator i can define as d by dx so d by dx operates on f of x will give you g of x for example you just take this d by dx is an operator operates on x square that will give you answer as 2x so 2 is the eigen value 2 is the value eigen value x is a wave function here x square is a wave function so it's a wave function it is not eigen function okay suppose if it is d by dx e power 2x if it is e power 2x d by dx of of e power 2x what will be the answer 2 into e power 2x so 2 will be the where eigen value e power 2x will be eigen function okay that's the difference now the condition for the linear operator is this one d by dx of psi 1 plus psi 2 equals individually you can individually you can operate d psi 1 by dx plus d psi 2 by dx okay operate operator operating on the combined system will give you sum of operating on the individual system so this is called the definition for linear operator in mathematics then the operator is linear for the operator which squares and takes a square for example squaring just we will take this one psi 1 plus psi 2 whole square this is not equal to psi 1 square plus psi 2 square so squaring is not a linear operator similarly taking the root that also is not a linear operator so it is not obvious that every operator will be linear no we can't say so squaring is not a linear operator. taking the square root that also it's not a linear operator the last session will be eigen function and eigen value okay so we have come to the last session eigen function and eigen value an operator a operating on any function will be a function multiplied by a constant so this is called eigen value of the operator so operator operates on the wave function will give you eigen value with a function if both the functions are the same we call the eigen functions okay in terms of matrices any operator in terms of matrices can be written as a b c d operator in terms of matrix okay and x we can write suppose if it is two dim two dimension so we can write x y so that will give you lambda x y lambda is eigen value this is your eigen state and this is your operator so a psi equals a psi x for example the function psi of x is called the eigen function of the operator a just now we discussed corresponding to the eigen value a just if we take uh, this operator operates on e power kx will give you k e power kx so this is an eigen value equation and of course and k is the eigen value and this is eigen function e power k is the eigen function of the operator d by dx corresponding to the eigen value okay in quantum mechanics we have a set of values a for which eigen functions exist then we can write eigen value equation as like this for number of uh, wave functions are there we can write a psi m of x which is equal to a m psi m m goes from 1 2 3 dot 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 infinity eigen value equation can be written as like generally h operator operates on psi m of x will give you e m psi m of x now 
we'll have to go with uh, two concepts one is non degenerate and degenerate for each wave function for each wave function each eigen value exists this is non degenerate for every wave function one value so this is non degenerate is it clear for many wave functions we can have single eigen value this is degenerate for each wave function each value this is non degenerate suppose if you have number of wave functions then only one eigen value exists this is degenerate so if the same value values are obtained for different wave functions for different many wave functions if you have same eigen values what we call this as degenerate if all the eigen eigen values operator are discrete then we can say that this is discrete spectrum okay we'll have a um, some operator some techniques suppose o operator this is squaring okay squaring is an operator squaring okay o square of f of x this can be written as operator o with another operator o okay operator o operates on f of x will give you eigen value i can write operator f of x will give you o f of x o is the value o is an operator o is the eigen value i can pull this eigen value out is it okay i can value out so o operator operate on f of x will give you eigen value correct so we have two eigen values o into o so that will give you o square f of x okay so it is not a plus b whole squared we we'll have to a plus b whole squared equals a plus b multiplied by a plus b it is not like a plus b whole squared that formula we should never use a square plus b square plus 2ab we should not we should not use okay suppose if we go for some few examples a psi equals lambda psi psi equals phi comma 2 then we can have this is operator operates on phi comma 2 that will give you this one so this is a linear transformation we have used exactly this formula a psi equals phi suppose if we take uh, this matrix operates on psi answer will get us 15 6 okay as column vector i can pull 3 out that will give you phi comma 2 phi comma 2 is original one so a psi it resembles exactly a psi equals lambda psi okay these are uh, two different uh, but both are linear transformations so what does it mean we have structured three times this is the original one we have structured three times of the same thing so stretching or contraction these are like uh, unit vectors which we have studied in real space okay this is expansion not only expansion contraction also will exist okay the last session is a hermitian operator so surely one question will appear from this session okay hermitian operator so as i said uh, in quantum mechanics dynamical variables exist okay these dynamical variables are observables these observables are associated with the operator okay in quantum mechanics is it okay these operators in quantum mechanics are hermitian operators what is the meaning of hermitian we know already hermitian is nothing but which is represent terms of dagger hermitian is nothing but changing rows and column take the complex conjugate because all hermitian operators will give you real eigen values and of course in the lab we always get some values which are real in quantum mechanics also we will obtain as real values the values will be always real if you want to have real eigen values real values one must have only operators as hermitian so all hermitian operators will give you real eigen values it's very very important okay that's why operators in quantum mechanics are hermitian okay operators in quantum mechanics will be or should be hermitian the operator representing any dynamical variable must be hermitian since these operators possess real eigen values okay now just take the expectation value okay a operator sandwiched between bra phi and ket psi we just take this we just take uh, the complex conjugate of this so what is the complex conjugate is you have to change the rows and column so ket will go into bra bra will go into ket this operator 
this operator will have to take the complex conjugate correct so we'll take in the complex conjugate this will become dagger for all psi ket psi will become bra psi bra psi will become ket psi whereas for the operator we are going to take the complex conjugate operator this will become a dagger so a dagger is nothing but a dagger is equal to a only then hermitian exists operator this means operators are hermitian a equals a dagger means operators are hermitian so we can write so this is equal to this correct we have written in terms of this one we compare these two that will give you this and this so we can say that see you just look at this both are equal so we can say that a is a hermitian this condition says that a must be a hermitian here the operator a is usually called as matrix element of the operator so matrix element of the operator suppose if we take uh, this one psi m that is a sandwiched between psi m and psi n just take the star that will give you this correct this is in terms of matrix we will go for wave wave mechanics okay in terms of wave mechanics you can write psi m star this is psi m star a is here psi n is here correct we can write this now what i am going to do is i can write this as a psi m whole star correct i can write this as a psi m whole star psi n let it be psi n like this but i can write this psi n star of star will give you psi n correct this is psi n not a psi n psi n star of star will give you psi n so i can take i can write exactly like this taking the whole thing as star complex conjugate of whole thing i can write psi n star of star will give you psi n a psi m star is nothing but a psi m star so i can write exactly like this is it okay now we are going to learn two properties uh, one property is very very important property often this property will appear in the examination the first property and second property so that will be the end of the session the eigen value of the hermitian operators always will be real the eigen values of operator hermitian operator will be real okay we are going to derive now consider hermitian operator a and the eigen value equation is given by this equation so you have an operator a which is a hermitian we are going to prove that hermitian and also hermitian operators will give you real eigen value we are going to prove this one so a acts on psi n will give you a n psi n a operates on ket psi n will give you a n eigen value with a ket with a ket psi n now just take the inner product inner product with the psi n see here we are going to take the inner product bra with psi n on both sides bra with psi n so you will get this so you have the this expression just take the bra with psi n will give you this expression correct a n is a number correct a n is a number a is a number so i can pull a n out so psi n psi n non recession condition will give you answer as 1 so you have a n so this term will be the answer as will have the answer as a n is it okay 1.139 now take the complex conjugate of equation 1.139 just take the complex conjugate just take the complex so psi n will come here and this psi n will come here correct take the complex conjugate we will go with psi n is this side and psi n is this side so this psi n is here this psi n is here okay now what are the answer a psi n star act will act as a n star psi n so i can write this as the answer will be a n star psi n psi n star and of course psi n psi n star that will give you answer as 1 so which is nothing but a n star you compare these two equation if a is a hermitian if a is a hermitian we can compare these two will give you this expression 1.141 see psi n a psi n star will be psi n a psi n suppose if both are equal what is the value of this one a star, a star n what is the value of this one a n if, if a is hermitian we can have the condition exactly like this okay if a is if a is a hermitian we can have the condition like this what is the answer of this one 1.140 a n star 
what is the answer of this one a n so a n equals a n star it says that the values are real a m star equals a n complex number will give you a real value so a m star equals a n or a n equals a n star the above equation is possible only when a n is real so all hermitian operator will give you real eigen values the dual eigen values of hermitian operator play a major role in quantum mechanics the last property is this one eigen vectors of a hermitian operator are orthogonal eigen vectors of hermitian operators are suppose if you consider two hermitian operators then they are orthogonal if they have different eigen values if they have same eigen value degenerate okay that we have already learned we have two different eigen functions with the same value each eigen function each eigen value is non degenerate so you should you should remember this one suppose if you consider two equations two eigen value equations a psi 1 at sun so a at sun psi 1 will give you a1 psi 1 a operator operates on psi 2 will give you a2 psi 2 so we are going to we have already condition is a1 and a2 have different eigen values so a1 a2 are different eigen values this is the eigen value of the first equation this is eigen value of the second one. so they have different eigen values now apply bra psi 2 on both sides of first equation in the first equation you apply psi 2 bra psi 2 so psi 2 a psi 1 will give you psi 2 a1 psi 1 we know that this is number you can pull it out a1 psi 2 with psi 1 okay now take the complex conjugate of the second equation so this is the second equation you are going to take the complex conjugate so psi 2 will become tet psi 2 will become bra psi 2 and you are going to take the complex conjugate so this becomes a dagger correct you are going to take the complex conjugate it becomes a2 star psi 2. okay actually we should not write like this we will have to write only a2 star bra psi 2 we have to write correctly now applying psi 1 on both sides so take psi 1 on both sides so psi 2 a dagger psi 1 will give you psi 2 a2 star psi 1 and this is a value so it's a number so you can pull it out so that will give you a2 star psi 2 psi 1 and of course a2 star equal to a2 just now we have proved so you can write a2 psi 2 psi okay a dagger psi 1 a dagger psi 1 will give you a dagger psi 1 will give you a1 psi 1 correct a dagger psi 1 will give you a1 psi 1 so we can write doing the operation we can write a1 psi 2 psi 1 which is equal to a2 psi 2 psi 1 so we can write a1 minus a2 psi 2 psi 1 equals 0 so this condition is equal to 0 it implies that either psi 2 psi 1 equal to 0 or a1 minus a2 equals 0 correct so we can have two conditions suppose if if it is this is not equal to 0 this is equal to 0 means this is not equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 means psi 2 with psi 1 equals 0 it implies that they are orthogonal to each other that is a condition see eigen vectors of a hermitian operator are orthogonal if they have two different eigen values so they are not equal it, it is equal to 0 it implies that they are orthogonal to each other if it is equal to 1 it is normalized if it is equal to 0 they are perpendicular to orthogonal to each other provided they are not equal see it's given orthogonal if they have different eigen values suppose if a1 equal to suppose if it is equal to 0 then a1 equals a2 okay so psi1 and psi2 are orthogonal to each other the not the non degenerate different eigen vectors of hermitian operator are always orthogonal to each other this is these are the conclusions if eigen vectors eigen vectors are degenerate then they have different eigen values thus eigen vectors of hermitian operator are orthogonal to each other so that is the end so two properties are very important any one of the properties will appear for the examination okay so thank you students thank you for your attention